Hello, friends. I'm Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids Team. Thank you all so much for joining me here on Circle Time. Like Circle Time at school, our Circle Time is a time for us to read books, play, and do some fun activities. Today, we have a special guest, Naomi O'Brien, to read one of our newest books to you. These new books cover topics like making friends, being part of a team, and celebrating our differences. Inside, you'll meet kids from different cultures, communities, and backgrounds. Naomi wrote all of the new books, and we're excited to have her read Why Is Our Skin Different Colors? Hello, Naomi. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Caroline. It's Naomi. I'm the author of this story, Why Is Our Skin Different Colors? And I am so excited to share it with you all today. I love diversity. I love noticing the differences that I see around me. So I'm so happy to be able to share this book with you all. Here we go. Why Is Our Skin Different Colors? by Naomi O'Brien. Priya and Esther were in Esther's backyard drawing pictures of each other. Priya's mom gave the girls some snacks to eat and sunscreen to put on while they sat outside. Why did you use that color for my skin? Esther asked, looking at Priya's drawing. What do you mean? Priya asked. I always use this color. Well, that's not what my skin looks like, Esther said, holding up her arm. We aren't the same color. Priya held her arm up next to her friends. She knew that she and Esther had different skin colors, but she didn't know why. You're right, Priya said, looking at her friend's arm. Priya wondered why their skin looked so different. I just learned all about this at the doctor's, Esther exclaimed. It's because of melanin. Melanin? What's that? Priya asked. Melanin is something that everyone has in their skin. It's very tiny and you can't see it, Esther explained. If you have darker skin, that means you have a lot of melanin. If you have lighter skin, you have a little bit. That's really cool, Priya said. I thought so too, Esther agreed. So we all have melanin, but we don't have the same amounts. Why? Priya asked. I asked my doctor that too, Esther replied. Esther drew a picture for Priya. She explained how people get their skin color from their relatives and family that lived long ago. Melanin also helps to protect our skin from the sun, Esther explained. But my mom says I still have to wear sunscreen, she added. She says everyone should. Do other things have melanin, Priya asked. Yes, Esther answered. My doctor also told me that animals have melanin too. Melanin gives zebras their stripes and lions their golden fur color. Well, it looks like I need to add a little more melanin to this drawing, Priya said, smiling at her friend. Here, Esther said, smiling back, you can use this crown. This is the color I always use when I draw myself. Thanks, Priya said. When the girls finished drawing, they exchanged pictures. I love it, Esther exclaimed. It looks just like me. I hope you all enjoyed that story as much as I enjoyed writing it. Bye, Caroline. Thank you, Naomi, and thanks to all of you for joining us here on Circle Time. If you want to read more books like this one, be sure to ask your parents to download the Khan Academy Kids app, and you can find all of our books in the library. We'll see you next time for more reading and fun. Goodbye for now from Caroline and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye-bye.